turmoil surrounding the Colorado State football team. Allegations of racism and verbal abuse have put football activities on hold. Denver 7's Sean Toll reports on what players are now saying. The week for the Colorado State football team started with a bombshell of allegations from a newspaper article. There was a bomb that went off yesterday. That's kind of created a negative narrative. The article claims CSU is altering contact tracing reports so players can continue training. A lack of mask wearing from head coach Steve Adazio to other coaches. Players saying they were told not to report symptoms and their playtime could be affected. The university announced an investigation into those allegations. We're doing what everyone else in society is trying to do, and we're trying to manage this to the best of our ability. Um, we're trying to move back to some level of normalcy, um, but we also under understand that there's going to be setbacks and impacts that we can't anticipate, and we're fully ready to adjust to whatever those things are. The claim that there was playing time being threatened I haven't heard, no one's heard that, and I even checked with players on the team, like, yo, was I even sent in a meeting that I wasn't in? Friday, the athletic director announced they were pausing football activities indefinitely amid allegations of racism and verbal abuse, with athletic director Joe Parker saying, quote, Colorado State University is committed to being an anti-racist university, and we will not tolerate any behavior or climate that goes against that core value. Football players called the allegations untrue in a statement released on social media Saturday. Their statement goes on to say they had not experienced any racially insensitive comments to their teammates from the athletic department or coaches. The players say they know the truth and are committed to the current coaching staff. Sean Toll, Denver 7.